What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we're going to be playing a lot of different comps in Bounty. Now I looked over the channel and I was checking what's missing, and I've noticed that there's a huge lack of Bounty on the channel. Now this is just because it's my least favorite mode outside of Showdown obviously, but I honestly truly probably play Bounty once or twice a week, and I really don't enjoy playing it because I just find it to be a slow paced mode and the objective is the objective is just pretty simple, it's just to get kills. But there is a lack of it and I'm sure you guys want to see some top tier bounty gameplay. So let's get into it. We're going to play four or five games here. We're going to change up the comps every time. And we're going to go from a typical bounty comp, a traditional one such as what we have here. Penny, Piper, and Brock. And we're going to get to some more advanced comps and show you guys how you can destroy and go out of meta but still win. Without further ado, let's get into the first game. So here we go into the first game here. Now we're going to be facing a pretty OP team. I think this is Orange Juice's most competitive team. My boy Skunk Seaman, you already know. Best name in Brawl Stars. But anyways, we're going to be playing a pretty traditional comp over here to start off. I don't think there's anyone else in this bush besides Piper. Let's see if we can get a few shots off. Where is our other brawler? So we were able to get the Piper big help from Slash over there in order to get him. So we might also be able to get the Brock. We were able to do so. This isn't, we're not really in the greatest position. No, we did go down. Luckily, Slash was able to get the kill, and we're currently up 8-6. to six. So you don't really want to push up like I did over there. You generally want to stay back, kind of stay more or less in your own half of the map. You don't really want to die. So I'm just going to be more or less staying over here, trying to get people who are playing a little bit too aggressive. Oh, I might get tapped over here. It's not looking good. I'm going to back up, see if I can get that Brock peeking. It's a little bit risky. Oh no! Oh boy. Oh my god. Slash out here with the carries so far. You're playing pretty weak. That was definitely a by accident super. Like I supered on purpose, but obviously trying to go back. I'm not just trying to jump in the same direction. Anyways, we're kind of being pinched over here. We were able to hit Skunk Seaman once. We are able to dodge this Brock a little bit. Let's see if we can tap him. Yeah, we're definitely struggling this game. It's been a while since I've played Piper. Let's see if we can get that Colt. Yeah, but we are going to go down. So we're only up one right now. As you guys know, it's been... Or as I've just said, it's obviously been a while since I've played Piper. So the shot is not on right now. I want to stay a little bit cautious. We're going to back up over here. 10 seconds left. Hopefully none of us get sniped. Looks like Brayden got hit once. We're going to see if we can get Skunk Seaman. He's going to jump up. We're just going to preemptively snipe him. And that's going to be the win. And that's going to be a GG for the traditional comp. Now we're going to get into the second game. And we're going to try and change it up a little. And try and use a little bit more of a control type comp. But still with a little bit of a boom. Let's see what we can come up with. So here we go into the second game over here, and I think they also have a Gene, so we switch to a Gene, a Mortis, and we still have a Piper. Now we were going to change to a more control comp, but I think I'm going to save that for the end. It's my personal favorite comp on this map. I think it's pretty unbeatable if you're playing it correctly, but I'm definitely going to save that for the last game. Now what we're going to do is basically just lane against Bad Bunny, the Gene. We're going to go up to him right over here. It's only three simple auto aims to get him down when you're that close, so we're going to be able to do that. Now, we're going to probably try and pull the Brock. Let's see what's happening over here. Let's move up. I don't think he knows we're here. Oh, he used his super auto, so it's a bit weird. I wasn't really expecting that. Slash able to come in and get the easy shot. We're just going to move back. Definitely don't want to get behind someone. One, two. We're able to get him. Brayden will steal our kill. Spinning on us after stealing our kill. Um, so yeah, right now we're just kind of holding control. It's eight to two for us with a minute left in the game. So that's looking pretty good for now. Looks like Slash is gonna be able to take care of the gene for the most part. We're gonna see if we can push it. Oh, it's probably so low. 98 health, are you kidding me? We're just gonna be a nuisance to this, uh, to this Brock and not let him heal up. See if we can get him. We were able to get the Brock. We are out of range of the gene pull, luckily. So we're up 10-2, we got four stars so far, we have the most kills in the game. Let's see if we can get this gene, we weren't able to do so. Oh, it's just an easy shot for us over there, that's another kill. I do really like gene on this map, 
just because you can annoy people so much. Looks like Bad Bunny has given up on the cause of beating us. Let's see if we can get seven stars. Gotta love having seven stars. Come on, Bad Bunny. Let me kill you. Let me kill you. Oh, someone's gonna steal our kill. Don't steal it, don't steal it. All right, there we go. <gasps> That could have been it. Alright, whatever. That was a pretty dominating game. They gave up with like 30 seconds left. 24 to 2. Easy star player. We're going to run it with the third comp now. Let's see. I think we're going to try and think of a really, really out of meta comp and see if we can make it work. And then we're going to go to the comp that I really, really want to show you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy. But with that being said, let's get into the third game. So here we go into the third game now. We kind of just pulled this comp out of our bums, to be honest. Um, PG-13 over here. Um, but, um, but yeah, it's definitely not meta. It's definitely not the greatest comp. We're going to see if we can make this one work. It's definitely a very control-based comp. Three medium-range brawlers. Each of them have an ability that's kind of control. Jesse with the turret. I think this Mortis is super close to being able to kill us. We get that clutch heal. Oh, we're just pushing him back over here. Oh yeah, we did huge amount of work and pushing him back so hard. I'm pretty sure the Mortis is very, very close to uh, to a super. So we don't want to be near him for that 100%. Let's see what we can do here. This is working. A key to this comp is definitely dodging and just getting as close as you can to them. I think we got that over here. Oh, don't hit us. All right, we got the dodge. We kind of backed them into a corner. Oh, I died, but I think we're gonna be able to get all three kills. We got seven stars right now. There's nine, there's 12. I think we need one more to get that team wipe. We weren't able to do so. There we go, 14. Brayden was able to get it. We're just gonna heal Slash over here while killing this Mortis. Slash obviously is basically our main damage dealer. We're not going to use our heal just because we know we're going to heal up. But if we do get hit by something, we'll definitely use it. We're going to help out our buddy Slash. He does have all of our gems. He's going to do a little bit of a toxic spin over on that guy. We're going to juke over here. Oh, I think we're going to go down. We are going to go down. 24 seconds left. Now, this comp actually isn't that bad. But these guys aren't really top players. Um, I do think it would be tough to play this comp against top, uh, top players just because if they're hitting their shots. It's going to be super hard to get close to them. Let's see, we got that heal over there. We are two shot to the Brock. Oh, he missed the super on us. Uh, all right. Well, there we go. It's a 27 to 12 victory. So far, 3 0. Let's get into the fourth and final game. And I'll show you guys the comp that I love and I think is the best comp on this map. Let's get into it. So here we go into our fourth and final game and this is the comp that I want to show you guys all along. Now this is a double healer plus Daryl. So basically what the Daryl does is he just goes in, you know, you kind of chill. Uh, this comp definitely did get a nerf when Daryl's uh, speed to gain is super slowed down. But basically what you want to do is just not feed, you want to slowly push them back. Just having a Daryl moving forward is going to push back a Piper or a Brock or something like that. Having the Poco and the Pam obviously for the heals. You see, we're just bullying them into this corner. We weren't able to get that penny, but we know our teammates are going to get the kills and walk right out of there alive. And we're just going to go right back up and do the same thing. Now, Slash does have his roll, which is the most lethal part about our comp, obviously. As you guys can see, we're just walking up. They're going to be backed up basically into a corner. We did go down, but Slash is just going to go in and get him again. We are playing a little bit YOLO and kind of just not really juking and just walking up because this comp is so good. You got so much HP. You got all the heals. So we're gonna move up a little bit over here. Let's focus on our juking a little bit. Make sure that we don't go down or get too weak. And we're just gonna be basically forcing them into a corner. Let's go over here. Oh, we got tapped. Got tapped pretty hard. We're gonna avoid. We're gonna get that heal on. Let's see if we can get that off. Oh, we are gonna go down. I feel like Slash is super close to a super. But anyways, we're down right now. This is odd that the one game that I want to show you guys the comp we are actually losing. It's a shame that we are facing a decent bounty team on the comp that I wanted to show you guys. But it's probably better just so we can show you it. Oh, no way. So you guys can show you the real power of this comp. Now, the fact that we went, that I went down might have actually thrown it. Hopefully, Brayden's running away and I can get him with that heal. Okay, so he is full HP. So we have him all backed up. 
15 seconds left. It's, it's already over for them. Once they're back here, it's completely over. Just gonna spray them like that. Oh, I need to stay alive. I need to stay alive. Oh, we just got it. Oh my god, we won. No way. So that is the game. And that was a super fun game. We definitely didn't play that close to correctly. But we still got the win. Anyways, try out this comp, guys. I really, really enjoy it. And I really think that it's a great comp if you guys want to push on ladder and you guys want to push these brawlers up. But anyways, that's going to be the video for today. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy some bounty gameplay and you guys did enjoy something that's fresh. If you guys want to see more bounty, just put it in the comments below. Like the video. You guys already know how to show me some love. But with that being said, that's it for today. I'm going to be back again tomorrow with some new gameplay. And yeah, that's it for now. Peace.